So you probably heard the phrase, Delulu is the Selulu. If not, you may have been living under a rock or an 18th century France. Speaking of which, meet Emily Du Chatelier, the original champion of Delulu. I'm not sure this is how she wants to be remembered, so let's give her the background she deserves. Emily Du Chatelier was a prodigy of Enlightenment era France. She was a mathematician, physicist, and natural philosopher. She challenged social norms by pursuing her passion for science, not very common at all for a woman to do at that time. And to say she was successful is a massive understatement. She wrote the French translation of Isaac Newton's Principia Mathematica along with an original commentary which remains the standard French version today. She contributed to the scientific discourse on conservation of energy and wrote her magnum opus, Foundations of Physics, which took the intellectual world by storm and was translated into multiple languages within just a couple of years of his debut. She also managed to find time to be hanky-panky buddies with the philosopher Voltaire and they were the intellectual powerhouse duo of their time. Basically, Emily was a legend. She broke down barriers, social norms and chased on a completely unique destiny. She also would not have been able to do any of it if she embraced what was realistic for her as ascribed by other people of her era. Without a sense of enchantment, a feeling that life is a charmed enterprise and that extraordinary things are possible, without the ability to construct productive illusions about life, she would not have been able to break those barriers. In her autobiographical work, Discourse on Happiness, Emily delves into the intricate relationship between happiness and illusion. She says that a balanced sensitivity to illusion is a necessary component of happiness. So what does this mean? Does this mean that we should suddenly start believing that there is an ancient civilization of technologically advanced grizzly bears living under the surface of the earth? Probably not, although that would be really cool. Emily distinguished between illusion and prejudice. A prejudice is an unjustified and unexamined belief which disappears as soon as you investigate it. Emily asserted that one of the hotbeds of prejudice was blind religious belief. On the other hand, an illusion for Emily is a product arising out of a healthy capacity for imagination and immersion into that imagination. She gives the example of going to a puppet show and being able to construct the illusion that the puppets are not just a bunch of objects playing about, but actors within an immersive narrative. This requires suspension of disbelief and you still know that it's a show and what you're seeing is mechanically manipulated objects, but you're able to immerse into the narrative by allowing your imagination to take over. And in this way, she argues that the capacity for healthy illusion is necessary to not get trapped in the bare facticity of life. A disenchanted life stripped of all constructive illusion is indeed a trap, she says. This aligns with the humanist psychoanalyst Rollo May and what he says about depression. He says that depression manifests as an inability to construct a future. When life is stripped of myth, metaphor, and imagination, it is also stripped of meaning and motivation. So while understanding and accepting a foundation of reality is absolutely crucial, it is also crucial to be able to paint over this foundation with the technicolor brush of constructive illusion. Delulu might not be the simple solution, but without a little bit of healthy Delulu, it might be impossible to imagine any Sululu at all. So what do you think? What is a healthy amount of Delulu to entertain? Let me know in the comments. And I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe, even though it's a bit Delulu of me to think that I can do this whole YouTube thing while having a full-time career. But hey, where there's a Delulu, there might just be a Sululu.